seeking asylum. In a letter to the European Commission, several countries insisted they have the right to forcibly deport those whose cases have been rejected. They wrote that not to deport them would motivate more refugees to flee to Europe. We would like to highlight the urgent need to perform returns, both voluntary and non-voluntary, to Afghanistan. Stopping returns sends the wrong signal and is likely to motivate even more Afghan citizens to leave their home for the EU. The situation in Afghanistan is deteriorating by the hour. It comes as the US and NATO prepare to withdraw their troops at the end of the month after a decades-long war. The situation is so bad that the Netherlands, Germany and France have decided to pause the deportations, at least for now. The situation in Afghanistan is likely to change and events for the coming period are so uncertain that I have decided to introduce a moratorium on deportation decisions and departures. But Greece, Austria, Belgium and Denmark are standing firm. They want the rejected asylum seekers out. The EU is not ready and does not have the capacity to handle another major migration crisis. While here in Europe, Afghans already make up around 10% of asylum seekers, they're the second largest group after Syrians. And for a continent still scarred by the migration crisis of five, six years ago, there is a feeling of déjà vu, a feeling of having been there before, that has Europeans worried they might be on the verge of a fresh refugee crisis. Those people who are here from Afghanistan, they are not migrant, they are refugees and asylum seekers. And that is why it is very important to remember that all Western countries have signed Human Rights Convention, Refugee Convention, and they are duty bound to help anyone, not only Afghans, but Syrians or anybody who come to, the, to their country and ask for asylum because of civil war in their country or any conflict or personal uh, threat to, to their life. So I think when the Western countries say, oh, we don't care uh, if uh, Afghan refugees go home or we deport them, I think this is uh, a violation of human rights and uh, we shouldn't do that kind of thing.